Hey YouTubers, this is Marshmallow, and I've got flour and everything all over me today, and uh, that's just the beginning of what we're going to do. It's after Thanksgiving, and we are going to make some cookies. Uh, this was a recipe that I watched Mrs. Wolfie make, and I remember these from years ago, and looked it up, and there was the recipe, and uh, it was in some of Bill's family. So um, right now, we're going to make pecan snowballs. It doesn't take many ingredients, and I've got them pre-measured out here, but I'll go through them. It takes two sticks of softened butter, and I've already softened them up in the microwave. Put these in your mixer. We made cookies last night, and I had it standing here, and I thought, well, why not use it, you know? So, get all of that butter off of there. I'm always got more on me than in, it seems. Okay, it takes four tablespoons of uh, sugar, just regular granulated sugar. Now these are going to, these, these wet ingredients you're going to mix together first, or you're going to cream your butter and your sugar together. And on this, you have to have at least two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. Okay, the rest of the ingredients that I will be adding in in a few minutes is two cups of chopped cones and two cups of all purpose flour. Also, we have to have on the side waiting uh, two pounds of powdered or confectionery sugar. Um, that is to roll and make your snowballs. You want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees, and if you can, if you've got parchment paper, start lining your sheets or cookie sheets because uh, you don't want these brown. They're going to be baked and they're going to be light color, almost white, and um, they'll be done. They just don't want you don't want that brown look. If you're brown, then you've burned them. So right now we're going to cream all this together and. Um, We'll be back in just a minute. Now that I've got all this mixed up and incorporated in the uh, the butter, the sugar, and the vanilla, now we start with our adding our flour. It's two cups. I've already got to say I've got them pre-measured out here, but we don't want to add them in all at once. We don't want a big poof, and I'm so good at that. So about a half a cup of time. push this down. Make sure that you get all of that pushed down in there. All that butter and sugar and flour will start working up on the sides, but you want it down in the middle. And this makes a really sticky dough, so don't be worried. Don't think, oh my gosh, it's too wet. No. You've got to roll this in a little bit here, so get all of this off of there. Start adding in some more flour. Turn this off, start pushing this down. I want to make sure I get all of that butter mixed up good with it. Okay, now 
I'm going to add in the two cups of pecans. getting my pans ready with the parchment paper and I'll come back and we'll be rolling them on the pans and uh, getting in getting them into the oven okay I've got my papers lined with parchment or I've got my pans should I say lined with parchment paper and I'm getting all the batter off of the, the mixer beater here Give it another good stir This is what it's going to look like. It's going to be, it's hard to see, but it's sort of mealy like. But it will, see, it sticks. It'll stay. Now, I'm going to show you as I roll these. Here are my pans ready to go. You want a little small, half of a, you want this size, a ball, no larger. That's about size of a big egg or you used to play marbles or half of a ping pong ball or whatever that's about what you want. Just place them on your parchment paper. Try to keep them all about the same size and you can put them pretty close together because they're not going to spread out. They're going to stay in balls. They're going to stay formed. So when I get these ready, get these full, I will put these in the oven. So when I get these all filled up, I'll be back. Okay, we got about 48 for that recipe. Uh, so I'm going to put these in my preheated oven. It's on 300 degrees, and I'm going to bake them for 25 minutes. And then when we come back, I will show you how to make them into snowballs. And that's the fun part. Even the kids can help you on that. So be back when these are out of the oven. Okay, our cookies are out, and uh, while they're really hot, you want to put them into the confectionery sugar. Only one pound at a time. You put one pound in a bucket with a lid. You have the other half over here, and you drop your hot cookies in. I've already got some of them started here. Get this lid off. Oh. But... Uh, Here's the snowballs. And while they're hot, they'll swell up inside that, and they'll they'll just take on all of that confectionery sugar, and uh, it's just the snowball part, and it's good. It's really good. Okay, always take out a little bit. And when you get through with this, the only thing you have to do is sift this confectionery flour out and reuse it for anything else. It doesn't flavor it or anything. Uh, just if there's little cookie crumbles, that's why you're sifting it. Now see, I put that over top of it. Try to do it while it's still warm and hot. You shake it. believe me all over me again um, when these are hot you don't want to bite into them because if you do they can explode in your mouth mrs. Wolfie always told that um, it was one of the most dangerous part of the cooking making next to uh, trying to hide them from her son 
And um, when I first tried them for all those years and everything, I can see why. So these are your snowballs. I just wanted to share these with you. They're so good. They go far. <laughs> you know, they're rich, but they are easy made. And I think you'll like this recipe. So have a good time making cookies. Let those kids help you.